More Eagle Moss goodies with the Walmberg class tug ship. Let's get this open. Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with the Star Trek, the official Starships collection from Picard from Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Now just to prove to you, this is straight from the delivery that came yesterday and I filmed it now, but it does come sealed. I hate the seal on these because you can peel it, if you want to cut them off, it's such an awkward thing to do, but to take them off, it always leaves residue behind. So then I use silicon seal, not silicon seal, um, Isopropen, I'll try and take off the rest. That usually gunks things down. If I can get this off in one piece without any glue at all being left over, I will be shot. There's a piece there. The problem is when you take these off, I'm only going to wait for a review here, is you get it on the edge, you're going to uh, kill your cardboard. So I do wish Eagle Moss would stop doing this. Please, I need to think what one of these would actually look like. Let's say 20 years time. It's still sealed and good luck taking it off. See, it's trying to pull this bit off already. So anyway, let's go for the Wallenberg class. This came to me with the, that's didn't too bad there. With the receipt, should we say, saying USS Hercules. And I was like, what the heck is USS Hercules supposed to be? So. Opened it up, found out it's this. So, the Wallenberg class. Was this or was this not in Star Trek Picard? Now, I thought it was in... Was it in the Children of Mars episode? I don't know. Well, I'll look at this in a second, so let's put that to one side. And as per usual, let's zoom in and lights out, maybe. Yeah, there's just too many reflections around here. There we go, it's a bit better. So, one more class, Tug, Mars, yes. 200, about 300 meters long. Which we round it up to. So Tug, it looks like it goes into the back end of the, well, the, the partly source. It looks like a very much stripped down ship. Two warp engines, back end for, for no, whatever equipment I'll ever guess at. The bridge, it just, it's the weirdest strip down of a ship I've ever seen just down to the absolute bare minimum. And I'll assume that these tractor beams, nope, I don't know. We'll find out in here, shall we? So the Wallenberg class. Two, 130-27, and I know you can't see a thing because I've got too many lights on, there we go. So now I'm in my own shadow. Well, fine, cope with it. <laughs> As you can see partly what's in the magazine. I actually can't see anything anyway myself. Right, fine, I'm having that. That'll do. <laughs> Cargo tug. I mean, they would have these sort of things anyway, but that's a very different um, take onto it. I mean, a full saucer up there. Looking very much like the Cerritos. I actually really am looking forward to Cerritos coming out. But this is the Hercules, it says on the side of here. It does look also a lot like the Shenzo. Just a saucer. The rest of it, yeah, very long nacelles. But that isn't what we've got here. This kind of part here is what we've got. So it possibly connects onto another section there to make it into a standard ship. Lots of design, lots of lovely, lovely concept art. Yeah, I do like looking at concept art, it's really good. Gives you more of an idea of exactly how, where and when the ideas of these came out from. So yeah, like I say, there's looks like it was just based around a certain type of ship and then just stripped down crazily. Hello, what are you? And the same as originally just described but to Eve's the ship is evacuating Mars. Okay, it was the evacuation one then. Cool. In the end sequence was completely reimagined and the space station was no longer required. Well that's a shame. But never mind. Next issue, issue eight, is the Romulan flagship. Uh, there, there was a couple of Romulan ships in the final scene on on the um, the Android homeworld. There's some other stuff coming soon. That's another Picard, and finally, I think I think somebody did say that 
they were doing tennis shoes in the Picard and then they would start mixing it in with the Discoveries. I've seen this, I've seen how they've attached, well they managed to do this for the detached nacelles and no, I'm not really happy. I think they could have merged, uh, made a clear section between the nacelle and the actual bodywork would have made it look a lot better or incorporated it into the stand so the stand goes forks into the back end and then would basically sit these that will come eventually when they are, when they do make them and release them but at the moment this is the Wallenberg class although it does sort of show a lot of the other classes it's kind of taken from which is quite weird really so let's get rid of this and <clears throat> Have a look. Usual Eagle Moss packaging leads to a stand with forks, very wide forks, never use these. The stand itself is 6125A slash A. That is light. That's the first thing I think of is quite a light thing. So either these are cargo canisters or whatever canisters or these are tractor biometers or something else. I'm sure the book, the magazine, does actually explain exactly what that is. There's not much difference on the colour between the impulse engine's actual vents and the, the orange section on the back. That's, that's intentional. It looks like a very kind of small bridge that they've scaled down this. Oh, let me get you in with my um, dodgy, dirty fingers. I was doing DIY yesterday. Please excuse me for that. There's a brick section. Is that a shuttle bay on the front there? Possible. Deflector dish. Oh, go faster fins, yes. Took 13027. So let's have a look at the nacelles, painted on nacelles, no clear ones. Looks like very tiger skin, doesn't it? Same as the opposite corner. Side view there. Underneath. They do, they do do a lot of this kind of damaged look. But it's, that's a very repetitive damage look, unfortunately. From left to right, you can see da 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 bum 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 Underneath, well, the nacelle should be exactly the same. Yeah, same damage marks. The end just kind of peters off onto nothingness. Let's have a look at the... See, that sled part there, it must be just to magnetise or attach um, pods to if it's transporting or it would just clamp on the top of a ship and drag it off as being a tugboat in the side of the, the front there I mean they look like 45 gallon drums that's a bit odd but yes and that's like the deflector sort of array what they've got on the newer ships now I don't mind the ship Honestly, I don't mind this shit, but I'm kind of trying to figure out why this is called the Hercules. Have they got anything on this side that says Hercules? No. I mean, I suppose on naming terms, you've got all these ships like Enterprise and Constitution and Essex and Ajax and, and all that sort of stuff from the original series. And you've got a lot of cities or rivers, I say rivers for the for the runabouts and stuff, so they, they class them for the different things. Hercules, why not? You'd have a USS Titan? No, I say Titan, we've got that one. Something that, that means big, heavy, Atlas, or, or any of the, the gods that were strong and... Yeah, you'd think that for these ships, because these must be the workhorses behind the Federation to try and get, well, to Starfleet, to try and get everything built, done, sorted. If anybody, well, while I'm on here at the moment, if anybody's seen the first episode of Discovery, season uh, four, then the, spoiler, by the way, yeah. Um, they do have, actually, this is not a spoiler because they've already released the, the actual part. They're talking to the president and the president is showing them the new space dock with the Enterprise, no, the, the Voyager J in the middle of it. So it's kind of, they're the workhorse of 31st century or 32nd, whichever it is the near two. And then these must be the ones for the 25th century, shall we say. Because this is, Picard is now set in the 25th century. He is now Buck Rogers. 
But there's a yellow section underneath there as well. It's like that might be... I don't know. See, this whole scale of the ship, if you look at the bridge there, it's only going to be a small bridge. Maybe piloted by a few people, if that. Maybe an engineering crew at the back here. It's a shame that they've got just blue and, and tiger mottled sort of orangey. Yeah. Could have done with being a little bit more colour, but that's down to John Eves. Actually, what is that on the back there? This is like where the paint's kind of gone a little bit. Yeah. I'll show you a bit better. Yeah, that, that's a painting problem that. Yeah, that's better. I wonder if that will actually clean off. No, that's definitely on the paint. So, um, no. I mean, you got proportions there. Look, it comes in front of you. That is a very weird looking ship going towards you. You've got on top wise, yeah, it, it's it's interesting enough. So it's it's quite good. I do, yeah, I, I think I do like this one. I think I'll stick my neck out and say I do like that one. As always, size scale. They are usually the width, maybe the, the length of my hand, which this is for the palm and then from toe to wrist. Yeah, this is spot on scale wise. As we used to do with the original Eagle Moss select collection, it was either width wise or it was length wise. It was kind of a mishmash between these ones that are spot on scale wise. Nice, good size, but like I said to start with, this front bit is, is metal, but it's very light. So, let me balance it on, on the back. No, that's not what you're here for. But there, there we go. USS, well, it's not. It's Tug 13027, and according to the actual receipt that I got with this, this is a USS Hercules. So, there we go. Any anywhere else that says Hercules? No, I can't see anywhere that says Hercules. Just the tug number on the back. I thought they would have given it at least something. I'll just seem a bit loose on there. It's okay. These are display models, not player models anyway. So, yeah, done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already on the channel. If you want to help out, if you want to donate something to the channel, the links are in the description. If you want to help the channel stay, stay around for as long as we can, for being a Patreon or being a YouTube subscriber, the links are below. It's not that difficult to, to find me anyway. If you want to talk to me on social media, I'm not that active on social media. I'll admit that now. I just, I am there, but I do watch, do keep a notice of things. But when I send me a message, I'll send in one back. If not, comment in the section below. So, that in mind, thank you for watching. Bye for now.